The Lost Art of Ancient Times. What happened to these masterpieces? Hello Science Tellers! Have you ever wondered what happened to some of the greatest artworks in history that have disappeared from the face of the earth? How did they get lost, destroyed, or stolen? And what can we learn from them about the past and the present? If you are curious about these questions, then you are in the right place. Welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we explore the science behind art. In today's video, we are going to discover the fascinating stories of some of the lost art of ancient times. Let's get started. Lost art is a term that refers to artworks that have been lost to time, either because they have been damaged, destroyed, or hidden. Lost art can be a valuable source of information and inspiration, as it can reveal the culture, beliefs, and skills of the people who created it. Lost art can also be a mystery, as it can raise questions about why it was lost, who was responsible, and where it might be now. One of the most famous examples of lost art is the Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This massive bronze statue of the sun god Helios towered over the Greek city of Rhodes for most of the 3rd century BC. The behemoth stood 110 feet tall, and reportedly took the sculptor chairs of Lindos a full 12 years to complete. But while the Colossus surely proved an incredible sight for visitors to the city's bustling harbor, it stood for only 56 years before toppling in a 226 BC earthquake. The once mighty statue then lay in ruins for another several centuries before Arab merchants sold off its remains for scrap. No drawings of the Colossus of Rhodes survive today, but ancient sources note that Helios was depicted standing with a torch held in his outstretched hand. These descriptions later served as an inspiration for Frederick Bartholdi's design of the Statue of Liberty. Another example of lost art is Leonardo da Vinci's Medusa shield, which was painted when the Italian master was in his youth. This early work supposedly took the form of a shield emblazoned with a creature inspired by the snake-haired Greek monster Medusa. According to a 1550 account by art historian Giorgio Vasari, the painting was so realistic that it initially frightened Leonardo's father, who considered it a macabre masterpiece and secretly sold it to a group of Florentine merchants. The shield has long since vanished, and some modern experts now argue that Vasari's account may have been little more than a myth. A more recent example of lost art is Diego Rivera's Man at the Crossroads, which was commissioned by John D. Rockefeller to create a mural for the walls of New York's Rockefeller Center in 1932. Given the theme of Man at the Crossroads looking with hope and high vision to the choosing of a new and better future, Rivera responded with a revolutionary work that referenced scientific progress, civil rights, and the plight of the working class. However, the mural also included a controversial portrait of Vladimir Lenin, the leader of the Soviet Union, which angered Rockefeller and his associates. After a heated dispute, Rivera was fired and the mural was covered up and later destroyed. Rivera later recreated the mural in Mexico City, but the original version remains lost. These are just some of the examples of the lost art of ancient times. There are many more artworks that have been lost to history, such as the Amber Room, the Mona Lisa's Twin, the Sistine Chapel's first fresco, and others. Each of these artworks has a unique story and a valuable lesson to teach us about the past and the present. By studying and appreciating the lost art of ancient times, we can enrich our understanding of art and culture, and also appreciate the art that still survives today. And that concludes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the lost art of ancient times and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and share your thoughts and opinions on this topic. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Science Deli.